Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In our previous video, we just started the topic data types. There I covered int data type and also we discussed some doubts regarding previous videos. So the people who are coming directly to this video, better to watch our previous videos on Python course for understanding purpose. Here, I want to make a small note. The people who are following our lectures regularly I can guarantee you that after a couple of months by completing this course, you will be a step forward to your friends. So definitely you will get benefited by this course. So please follow regularly and keep supporting. Let's get started. So today I want to introduce two inbuilt function which are very important and very most used inbuilt functions in our Python or PYPE. Okay, type and print. These two are the most used and important inbuilt functions present in our Python. So now let's discuss about these functions in detail. So first thing is type. Here, let me execute with some example. So I am opening my Python shell. Okay, here I am taking x equals to 100. Here, if you want to know the x variable that belongs to which data type, then you can use our inbuilt function type. Here I am taking type of x. Then, okay, have you observed? We are getting, it's a int data type. So let me take another example. A equals to 10.5 I'm taking. Here, type of 10.5, okay? Type of 10.5. Okay, have you observed? We are getting it is a float data type. So let me discuss another function that is print. Okay, in C we have print f, but here we are having just print function. Now, how to use this print function means let me take some example. Okay, here I am taking Karthik equals to okay, Karthik equals to thousand. I am taking. Now, to print this Karthik variable, we can call directly in Python shell. Okay, we are getting 1000. It's perfect. Here in Python shell means it is okay. But when we're working on files, what we have to do means, let me take same example. Okay, Karthik equals to 1000 I am taking. Here, I want to print Karthik. Okay, Karthik. Now, let me execute this file. First of all, I want to exit from Python shell. Here, we will execute that file to know what will happen. Have you observed? We are not getting 1000 here because let me open that file. This type of printing format is applicable only in Python shell. Now, I will take print, okay? Print function to rectify the mistake. Let me save and now we will execute the same file, okay? Now, if you observe, we are getting 1000. So like this, we can use this print function. So let's come to our main topic. I hope you are clear with these two functions. Now, let's start the discussion about float data type. Okay, let me take some example. How many planets we have? Okay, we are having eight planets. When you want to declare this type, you can go for int data type it will be perfect but here if i take petrol okay liter petrol how much it will be 95 okay 95.78 or something let us assume 95.78 now when it comes to this type of value means having a decimal point now it is better to go for float data type so what is float value means value with Okay, value with decimal point. Any value having this decimal point, then it is a float value. So, to prove this statement, let me execute some example. Here, I will take the same example. Petrol equals to okay, 95.78. So, let me check this, whether it regards to float or not. I will take type of, okay type of petrol we are getting 
name type is not defined so let me rectify this ty pe okay ty pe of petrol now have you observed we are getting it is a float data type so this 95.78 is regarding to float data type now you know what is a, a float data type in int data type we discuss like x equals to 10 and x equals to 0 b means it's regarding to binary and x equals to 0 o means it's a octal octal 10 and x equals to 0 hex okay 0 x of 10 so in these forms we can represent our int data type at the same time we are having a equals to 9.86 okay a equals to 0 b 9.86 and then a equals to 0 o 9.86 and then a equals to 0 x 9.86 in plot also these are the four forms to represent float values now by seeing all these examples the python present on your mobile or laptop will commit to suicide because in my previous video i said all this terminology okay 0b 0o 0x is refers to only int data type by mistake if we use this terminology in float data type see what will happen okay here i am taking the example a equals to 0 b okay 0 b 9.89 have you observed we are getting invalid digit 9 in binary literal so this type of terminology is not applicable for float data type here if you want let me take another example 0 o okay 0 o 8.98 have you observed invalid digit 8 in octal literal? I think you got clarity regarding this one. So in these four examples, the first one is only valid. We can take float values only in decimal form. Let me discuss the second point. So here I will take some example. A equals to 9.2 E3 this type of style we can observe in our mathematics in this form we can represent the float values so here what exactly 9.23 means let me clarify that a equals to okay a equals to 9.9.2 into 10 power 10 power 3 this is the exact meaning of 9.23 means the value we will get here is 9200 okay so in python internally this is going to be happen to prove this let me execute the example i have taken here i am taking a equals to 9.8 okay e3 now let me print the value of a have you observed we are getting 9800.0 so it is a float value let me take another example a equals to 9.8 capital e3 i am taking now what you are thinking it is valid or invalid yes friends it is valid or invalid python is a case sensitive program but in very few places python will not consider case this is the one example for this. Let me execute this. Have you observed? We are not getting any error. If I print this value, we are getting 9800.0. And also, if I open my calculator app, okay, let me open the calculator app. Let me take some bigger value, okay? Have you observed? We are getting E, it means total this value into 10 power 24 this is the exact meaning of this value in this small space we can't define that bigger value so this style is followed so this is the one of the important advantage in python program 
Python is the best programming language to use scientific applications. The advantage for this style is, let me take another example. Here to represent this big value in this format, please look here. A equals to 1.E30, okay? Here the main difference between these two is, we are saving memory here. So we can represent our value in less memory. So this is all about float data type. Now next we will discuss another data type that is complex data type. Okay. We need to take care of some things while discussing about this complex data type. So here I will take some examples. X equals to A plus IB. Somewhere in our mathematics we have seen this style. So this is a complex number. But in our Python, there is a small change for this x equals to a plus b j. This style we have to follow in our Python. If you change this format, you will get error. In this place, we can use only j. If you use i, you will get error. Let me execute that example. Here I will take a equals to 10 plus 20 j. Okay, it's perfect. Here, let me check the type of A. Have you observed? We are getting it's a complex type, okay, complex data type. Instead of that, if I take A equals to 10 plus I 20. Have you observed? The name I 20 is not defined. So we can't use this convention. Let me take another example. A equals to 20 plus 30j. In this example, 20 is the real part and 30j is the imaginary part. To check that, we have x dot real. Okay, x dot real. Okay, we are getting 20.0. And also, we have x dot imag. Okay, we are getting 30.0. So, this is the imaginary part and this is a real part. And another point that I want to discuss is here for A and B, we can use int and float values also. But there is a small twist in this point. Here I will take A equals to 10.5, okay, 10.5 plus 20.5 J. Let me check this is valid or invalid in my Python shell. Here I will take A equals to 10.5 plus 20. 20.5 j so it's perfectly valid so here we can take int or float values but at this place when we take int value for example x equals to 10 plus 20 j i am taking when we take int value at this place you can assign value in any form for example x equals to 0 b 10 plus 20 j i am taking okay it's perfectly valid when it comes to this part we can assign int value but in decimal form only by mistake if you assign the value in any other form you will get error and also we can perform some mathematical thing to this let me take some examples a equals to 10 plus 20 j b equals to 20 plus 30 j so now i am taking a plus b have you observed we are getting 30 plus 50 j and also a minus b so minus 10 minus 10 j like that we are getting and also a into k okay, a into b okay we are getting like this and a divided by b okay like that we are getting so we can perform mathematical things to this complex data type. So Python is the best programming in mathematical or a scientific domain. So this is all about complex data type. So the next data type is bool data type. Okay, bool. What is bool data type? Means bool data type. It is it is used to represent the boolean values. Okay, boolean values or logic values. Now, what is this Boolean values means? Okay, true 
and pals okay these two are the boolean values in python correct the people who are thinking these two are correct the python again try to commit suicide because here we can't use small t instead of that we can use capital t and capital f so when these are used means let me take some example salary okay salary equals to 10000 i am taking now what i will take is salary greater than 9000 so what this expression will print means let me execute this in python shell here i will take salary equals to 10000 now salary greater than 9000 have you observed we are getting true so internally the result of this expression is true at the same time if i take salary greater than 11000 now have you observed we are getting false so the result of this expression is false i hope you are getting some idea regarding bool data type here let me take another examples true plus okay true plus true here i will take true plus false and also true minus okay true minus false and finally true into okay true into false i am taking now what all these examples will print as friends please think as yes, the people thinking that they will print some true okay true value or false let me exclude that examples here i am taking true plus true have you observed we are getting two means and let me execute another example true plus false okay we are getting one so python will consider this true as one so one plus one we are getting two at the same time python will consider this false as a zero so one plus zero we are getting one and also i will take true into false so here i am take a small f we are getting error so let me rectify that one true into okay false have you observed we are getting zero means 1 into 0 it is zero so what is the use of all this complex float data type means the people who work in scientific or mathematical domains then those people will get value of all these things but still remaining people better to know all these things so this is all about boolean data type in our previous video i discussed one doubt that one asked by one person so regarding that another person raised a another doubt so the doubt that i discussed is here we have true false and none why these keywords are having alphabet symbol for that i said python will consider these as values also so the another person doubt is why want to use capital t capital f and capital n why can't we follow another style because the python developers followed this style okay to show some difference between other keywords and these keywords they follow this type so according to python they followed this one but if tomorrow if you develop any program by your own there you can follow your own style like t r u whatever you want like this also you can follow but python developers followed this style i hope you are clear with this explanation and finally i want to make another small note people watching our videos till end and i am getting views also but people not subscribing our channel so please subscribe our channel and your one like will give so much of boost to me still if you have any doubts regarding this session please ask me in comment box or you can contact me in instagram link the instagram account link is provided in description and this is all for this video we will meet in next video thank you